Hey everyone, just going to show you a real quick tutorial on one of my favorite accessory exercises, the paused row, then a little bit of training that I did today. So the paused row, I like it because it's going to train you to hold a very compromising position utilizing isometric contractions. I just threw a whole bunch of big words at you, but all you really need to know is that it gets you very close into a deadlift position. You're doing a row. You're training isometric contractions. We don't do that a whole lot in powerlifting. So the big key takeaways of this movement is that it puts you in a compromising position and it makes you stronger in that position. Now, how do you do this exercise? It's going to start a whole lot like a pendlay row. You're going to pull it into your diaphragm and you're going to try to hold it there for like one to two seconds. I'm working with very light loads here. This is 85 pounds on the bar and it's very difficult to hold it against my diaphragm. It touches it and then I can't even hold it against the diaphragm. It's maybe one inch away. It's also going to be awesome for teaching you how to keep those abs tight, how to keep that lower back tight, how to keep your upper back tight, your back back, your mid back, all kinds of back, maybe even your friend's back tight. That's how awesome these paused rows are. So give these suckers a shot. I'm sure you're going to like them. Tell me about them in the comments because who knows, maybe you'll hate them and maybe you'll get back cancer. And for that, I apologize. But hey, that's just the name of the game. Sometimes you do a weird exercise, you get back cancer. Sometimes you do a weird exercise and you jump on the gains train to PR city, population U. That's what's up. So what are you looking at right here? This is a weird exercise. You're like, Cody, this is a powerlifting video. You're a powerlifter. This looks like you're doing CrossFit in a CrossFit gym. Well, I am in a CrossFit gym, but I am not doing CrossFit. I'm doing a very CrossFit-y type of exercise. I'm calling it a behind-the-neck thruster. You could call it like a back squat to push press. But if you want to use five or six words to def describe an exercise, that's all on you. I'm just going to call it a BTN thruster because that is easy and I am lazy. So this BTN thruster, it gets you squatting and pressing in the same movement. So I'm all about that there efficiency and it is awesome. So the most I've ever put above my head was on a behind the neck push press and that was 235. This right here works you through a greater range of motion and again, if you're not keeping that torso upright, you ain't going to be pressing a whole lot of weight. So it's going to train you to keep a more upright torso. And if you're a smaller, thinner guy, it's sort of important to do that and not turn your squats into good mornings. Love this exercise for training shoulder strength and also training that their tricep strength. Because you're going to see on this right here, gets to the top, and my triceps decide that they don't want to work as well as the rest of my body, and I almost miss the lift. But hey, that's why we do weird and funky exercises, is because sometimes it's going to identify some lagging strengths. You can then take that identification of those lagging strengths and shoot them in the face with a bazooka. And that's what I did here with the close grip bench press. I was like, you know what, my triceps, they're pretty weak, probably from all the benching I did the day before. But yesterday I had done low volume at very high intensity. I did a total of like 10 reps at 315, spread across 10 sets. That's a pretty high amount of volume at that intensity, but overall it's really not too much volume. So today I did some volume close grip bench pressing. I worked up in sets of five working through plates and 25s up to 225 pounds and then I went 245, 265 and this is that final set at 265. You could see how tired my arms are getting especially near that lockout when my triceps take over and I almost die but hey that's why we do the close grip bench press make our triceps strong and if your triceps aren't strong somewhere a puppy's dying just a fact of life right there. Thanks for watching.